This video provides an overview of Element Quick View and shows you how you can use it in your Dreamweaver CC workflow. As you'll see, Element Quick View has a range of uses, but perhaps the most evident is the ability to view the structure of a web page as a simple visual layout of elements. Let's take a look at this web page and explore its structure using Element Quick View. First, click on the Element Quick View button at the bottom left of the workspace and notice the Element Quick View window opens. You can also use the shortcut keys by clicking on Control forward slash or Command forward slash on your Mac. Notice that the page starts with a body tag, and if I click on it to reveal its top level elements, you'll notice that there's a div tag that contains the majority of the page, a footer, and two script tags at the bottom. If I click on the div tag to reveal its content, you'll notice there's a header tag and a main tag. If I click on the header, I can drill down all the way to the navigation elements on the left and drill down further to see the navigation links. Also notice that if I click on an element in Live View, that that element's selected in Element Quick View. Now at this point, I'll point out that this page is running from a local testing server so that we can see the dynamic PHP elements rendered to the screen. Notice that the selected element is actually written in PHP. You can see here in Code View, there's the PHP code. And notice that this is a dynamic element that's read-only, and it's rendered with a gray highlight. Now that element, I can select it, I can see it, I can't move it or right-click on it and perform any of the tasks that I can do with a normal element in Element Quick View. This new enhancement enables you to identify the dynamic elements on the page. If I continue to explore and drill down into the main section, you can see that there's articles, other sections, there's a form, and so on. And it's really very easy to get familiar with the layout of the design. Next, let's dive deeper into Element Quick View by taking a look at how it can be used for precise insertion of elements in the HTML structure. Dreamweaver provides live guides in Live View, along with the Position Assist dialog, as ways to visually position elements while inserting them on the page. However, there are times when you need even more precision to achieve the layout you're after. For example, let's say I want to add a paragraph element to a div that's not yet visible in the page layout. I can do that by selecting the Insert screen, choosing the Structure category if I'm not already there, and in this case I'm going to click on a Paragraph tag and I'm going to drag it to Live View. Notice that you can see Live Guides, and if I pause a moment I can see the Element Quick View icon appear, and if I roll over it I can pull up the Element Quick View and drop the Paragraph tag into place in a very precise way. Now to finish, double click, I can paste in text, I can also select the paragraph tag and click on the plus sign and I can type in to target an existing CSS class which will format the text. As another example, let's say I want to add an image to the page using a similar workflow. In this case, I can drag the image from the assets panel and I will choose the violin PNG. Notice as I drag it to live view, I can see the live guides again. If I pause, I see the element quick view icon. If I roll over that icon, I see the element quick view and within context, it allows me to very easily drop the image into place. And you can see what we just did there was to generate an image tag in the correct position in the HTML structure. And it was that easy to add content to the page in a very precise way. At this point, you've seen how Element Quick View can be used to explore the structure of a web page and even add to it with great precision. But if you dig further, you'll realize that you can also edit the page structure by rearranging elements, copying and pasting and duplicating elements, and deleting elements. To demonstrate, let's first take a look at the contextual menus in Element Quick View, then rearrange part of the design to change the order of elements. Open the Element Quick View panel and select the Section tag that contains all of the content that we were just working on. Right click on the selection and notice your options to delete, duplicate, copy, and paste if I copied that section. If I click on duplicate, notice that I duplicated the section and if I look in live view you can see that all of that content was duplicated. And going back into Element Quick View, I'll right click on the selection again and delete that selection to back out of it. Now let's say that I want to bring the get updates form up above the grid block section. I can do that by clicking on it to select it and then dragging it above the section where the rest of the code is. And notice that doing that, I very easily can change the order of the code. As a last stop on the tour, let's take a look at how Element Quick View is synchronized with other visual and code features in Dreamweaver CC. First, let's look at the synchronization of selections across Dreamweaver. Open the Element Quick View panel and drill down until you can select the H1 element for the headline text. 
And notice when I do that the related CSS is displayed in the CSS Designer, even across media queries. You can add properties in CSS Designer as needed, and while the element is still selected, notice that you can view the related code in Code View, or work with the selected element in Live View in any way that you need to. Inversely, if I select the H2 element in Live View and look back in Element Quick View, notice that the selection also persists in Element Quick View. And finally, let's revisit the concept of synchronization of live guides between Element Quick View and Live View. If I click on the H2 tag and start to drag it around Element Quick View, notice that I see the green live guide that gives me a great deal of precision in targeting the surrounding elements. Also notice the live guide in Live View that shows me in the visual sense where I would be dropping this element. I'll return the H2 tag down to its original position just for good measure, but the point is is you want to use these visual cues to speed through editing your design. And that's it! Element Quick View provides a precise way to work with HTML structure and it enables you to fine-tune the visual workflows you'll use with other Dreamweaver features. Try to explore one of your designs in Element Quick View and see just how easy it is to work with its structure.